Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. Uh, if you click on the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Just click on that. That will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up uh, on your story, stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, as usual, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. You can. So I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Aries, let's start the reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just, just kind of touching on the past. I like to kind of um, start from the past just so I can see where you're currently at, how that evolved. So we've got the magician, and that represents, you know, having all the tools in order for you guys to make something happen. So this is the current state of the past connection. So it pretty much saying that if you guys wanted to take something somewhere, that it has all the ingredients to be able to do so. I'm not sure what was causing your indecisiveness. There is indecisiveness there for you back and forth. This unable to decide about something when it comes to this. Even though there was a foundation that had already been laid with the four there, you still was indecisive about whether to move ahead with this person. It's like one minute you were sure, the next minute, you know, kind of not quite sure. I'm not sure whether that created the burden for this person because there seems to be some form of heaviness around um, them and they're thinking about this, this burden. Seeing you as very much the Queen of Cups, this understanding, patient, compassionate person, supportive even, and wanted to fix something, wanted to mend something. So there was something in the past that was creating a burden for them that they wanted to fix. So there was feeling like, I'm not sure whether this person actually communicated with you, but they wanted to, or something around communication and then being, or seeking justice around, yeah, something around communication. And that communication will bring about some form of justice for this person and for the connection, but for this person. Yeah, your boundaries kind of went up with the Queen of Swords. So just bring this to where we are at the moment. Something's not wanting to be, things are not being addressed. And that's where it is at the moment. It's like things are not being addressed, not wanting to be acknowledged. And your focus is very much just on moving forward. It feels like you're kind of moving forward, waiting for something to happen, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, but at the same time, losing patience as well. Losing patience, we've got that. Because you're already really wanting to kind of move things ahead, but it's this slowness that's creating this impatience for you. And I'm not sure why. Let me pull on that. Yeah, you want to take action. There's some form of action that you wanted to take. Yeah. 
for your person is going through or has had an epiphany, a wake up call, realization about this in relation to this. There's something that's caused them to have an aha moment, which is making them think about taking a risk on this. So if there's no communication here, if there's been a lack of communication or, uh, or the communication is just simply stop, uh, this person has, or is thinking about, let's say that thinking about taking some form of risk. Their challenge is that King of Wands. So the King of Wands is someone who is very confident, um, very attractive. They've got heart. They've got uh, they, they've got drive. There's focus. That's in their challenge. So they're lacking all of that. They're, they're lacking confidence in being able to take this risk that they're thinking about taking. Yeah. Where your challenge is trying to actually... Get be victorious when, when it comes to this. <laughs> yeah, taking down a new path. Let's look at the um, yeah, just fading. There's a lack of confidence. Look at that. Look at that. We've got the nine of pentacles, you know, wanting to advance the ace of cups, which talks about the offering of love, and then we've got the karma. It's just the judgment card within this deck. So there's a lack of confidence around maybe judgment towards themselves. Um, or something that's causing them to feel this lack of confidence. I'm not sure whether this person is able to take a risk or not, but they are most definitely wanting to process things. But like I said, you want a victory, but your challenge is actually achieving that with this person. I'm not sure what, Brit, what, brought, you, <laughs> what brought you to this indecisive place here but you're out of that like I said but I feel like it has some form of effect on or connection to why you're able to, to achieve that as well as of course their contribution but they're wanting to balance their thinking process this a bit more because we have that tower which talks about in this deck for me it talks about you know, them wanting to come with some form of information. Um, but it's information that's going to shake things up. Going to shock you even. The tower there. Again, this is what they're wanting. Let's see if that materializes. If they have the confidence to actually follow through with, with this, with you. I feel like your focus is on work. We've got eight pentacles there. We've got eight of swords. Still feeling a bit trapped by this maybe emotionally. But focus is on work, bringing that coin, you know, get in the bag, whatever you guys say, you know, just up in your money. So the question is, is, is this person going to be able to follow through? Is this person going to be able to follow through with this communication? Um, we, we will see, we shall see. So we'll continue this in part two of the reading guys. Link should be shown up on the screen as we speak. So click on that. Other than that, have a beautiful day and I shall see you next week.